Hey everybody. Good morning. Happy, happy Monday. The sun was just beaming out and it's great because here in New York City we have had a storm for about 24 hours. In my area though, I want to say we were hit with it, but I don't think we were hit as much as other parts of New York City. So it, it worked out well for us. The rain stopped early, early this morning. And the sun was beaming through before, so I hope that comes out again. I have some things around here to do, so I'm just going to hang out at home. I, I don't even feel like getting dressed and going out. I just don't. Um, it's just one of those things. I wanted to do maybe a little bit more straightening up, just a little bit of resetting, and just, you know, relax. I'm having a cup of tea here. And I we got through the night. The night was the night was okay, you know? I, I, I expected, like, these high... <laughs> Now, today, they expect, like, a lot of high wind. I haven't seen that either over here. So maybe we could get away with that as well. I don't know. But for other parts of New York, there was uh, torrential rains. There's flooding and, you know, things like that. Um, I do want to thank everybody for yesterday for all their comments. Nice, beautiful conversation going on about a true subject, about a true thing going on with the band. So I want to thank you all very much for all your interactions. And you know what? Everybody can agree to disagree. That's fine. That's what makes, I believe that's what makes the world go around. But it makes the world go around in a good way. You know? I mean, there's going to be some negative comments. Absolutely. So you got to, like I said, in social media, you got to take the good with the bad. Absolutely. And that's what I try to do. But at the same time, I am a person, and I, I've, I've, said this, I've stated this before, that I am a person that even as a child, even as a child, you know, we've, we've all, I think, experienced, even as a child, like a little bit of bullying here and there over the years, because I was bullied a lot as a child also. But, and then the saying goes, if you knew then what you know now, <laughs> but we can't go back on, on history like that. History has already been done in our lives. But um, I, I also want to say that I was never one to run with the majority on anything. But I've never stepped on somebody else's opinion because I didn't like that opinion. If I didn't like something, I don't like it. That's me talking that I don't like it. I don't know about you. If you say you don't like it or if you like it, that's fine. That's where the difference is. We could respect each other. If you say you don't like something, yeah, you give your reason why you don't like it. That's cool. That's cool. But why step on another person because they don't like what you like? Not everybody has to do that. And I see a lot of that on boards, like message boards. And it's getting rambunctious, it really. I mean, it's been that way for a long time. But it's, you know, it is depending on the subjects that you, you know, that you're interested in. Um, for the band's interest, which was yesterday's video, I talked about the band Liliac. And, you know, the opinions on their Instagram page, there are a lot of mixed opinions. I read it because I'm part of their Instagram page. You know, so I was interested in songs and everything, but let, let's, let's put it this way. And I'm going to shoot back over to the cover songs. Cover songs are one thing. Many bands over the years have done cover songs. But the difference is if they do a cover here, a cover there, a cover here, a cover there, that's okay. But they've separated it few and far between of what their own original music is um joan jett they did crimson and clover that's not their song but on the way they've done many other original hits that i feel that made joan jett who she is she's a true rocker absolutely i also met her also at tower records back in the 80s we they were doing a an album signing. So my family, my husband, and well, he was my boyfriend at that point. We went to see Joan Jett. I still have the autograph. <laughs> um, you know, it's sad because nobody had cell phones back then. So we didn't get selfies or pictures of anything, but we did get the autographs. So, um, you know, Crimson and Clover. Okay, fine. Quiet Riot. Now, 
Quiet Riot has had tunes, but it wasn't what what made Quiet Riot, I believe, was Come On, Feel The Noise and the song Mama, We're All Crazy Now. Not their songs either. But yet they do have a great album catalog of many of the tunes that are there, that are their own. So it, I guess it depends how you carry yourself, how you how you carry yourself to your fans. Um, <sighs> yoy, 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 yoy. Now, I'm going to bring up, because I, I posted the video of The Trooper, which was Iron Maiden's song, but Lily Act did the cover. This was about five years ago. This That video was posted five years ago. So they were very young at that point. But you will hear and you will see the difference in the facial expressions and the voice and the word pronunciation and the voice. There's a total difference. That's, that's like a five or six year span. But there is a total difference. Okay? I enjoyed that cover much better than the Heaven and Hell. So you will see the difference. I look at facial expressions. I look at how you pronunciate the words. I listen to how you pronunciate the words. And that's what it is for me. Okay? That's what the whole thing was for me. So, um... Kiss, you know, um, the song God Gave Rock and Roll to You. Surprise, surprise. I mean, if you're a Kiss fan, you damn well know that that wasn't their song. So, you know, but they made it to what it is, and then now it became their, you know, it was one of their, I mean, rock and roll all night. Yeah, sure. But this is their anthem, you know? Um, I want to say, is it yes or no? And I'm going to have to look this up before I say it. So I'm not even going to mention it. I'm not going to mention it. Because I don't think it's his song either. But that's where I stand right now. That's where I stand. As a matter of fact, I was going to plug in my computer. Because I, I took out my iPod. And I want to um, add a new... You know, I want to I update my tunes and update my catalog. Yes, I still, I still listen to my iPod. Yes. I have the original, original iPod with the 40,000 songs. Yes, uh, that's basically almost filled to capacity. Yes, that's how much I listen to my music and my songs. Um, what else was I going to say? I could, I could go on and on and on with this, and I don't want to bore people with this, but I am on that kick right now, and I feel that it is a good subject to speak about. Let's not, all right, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go into <laughs> a subject right now that seems to be hitting a lot of people, a lot of other musicians below the belt. Was it an outing? Did you get outed? Did you go, you know, listen, you've been saying something for many years and then all of a sudden you've been outed. The problem is in today's world, like back in the 80s, you didn't really catch nothing. You didn't really catch much. You're listening to your performers on stage, you're watching them, but are you really watching them? Because it was, you know, nobody had cell phones, nobody had social media back then. You didn't have computers, you didn't have YouTube, and you didn't have vlogging cameras, and, and you just you just didn't look at things through a lens of a camera, of a, of a cell phone. You know, you didn't, nobody was holding up cell phones. They were holding up lighters. Yes. So... You know, when they sell, when they tell you now in concert, everybody take out your cell phones and put your flashlights on. I mean, that's like the corniest thing I've ever heard. No, I don't do that. I'm not wasting my battery for that. Um, here's the thing. There seems to be some controversy with bands about backing vocals and backing tracks. <laughs> yes, I, I'm going to get on this subject. Back in the 80s, did we notice this? Even if it was happening, we didn't notice. Okay. Whew. but it's happening now. And, you know, you don't expect your 70-year-old favorite performer, who happens to be hitting 70, 72, 75, whatever the case may be. I mean, Sammy Hagar's in his 70s, for God's sakes, and that blows my mind. Guy could still kick ass. The thing is, they go on stage now, you know, things change. 
you had a little creak in your bones, you know, you know your bones were a little slow, you, you may not be running back and forth on stage a little bit faster, you probably can't climb up the stairs, you know, things like that. And however, your voice, your voice does, there is a slight deterioration of your voice. Hmm. Let me have some tea. There is a slight deterioration of your voice. Paul Stanley went through it right now. He's go he's gone through it right now. I mean, you can hear him on stage, which they're in a little bit of a pickle, or should I say, doesn't matter anymore because, you know, they had their farewell concert. I saw the last farewell concert in 2000, by the way. Yeah, the last time they had a farewell. They had quite a few farewells. Then they had the reunions in 96 and 97. I was at those too. I'm a Kiss fan as well. Um, but... Backing vocals, backing tracks. Do they need a little help? Yes. But I have to laugh at the fact that all these bands seem to be bullying each other. They're going back and forth. And it happens to be on social media. It's just like a, a soap opera of some sort of soap opera of the bands. It's It's crazy. Um, you got this one saying about this one's with the backing vocals. Afraid you, you suck with this and that. And it, really, it's like a free-for-all. And, you know, years ago, were they doing that? But we wouldn't know it because none of us had social media or anything. It's just it's just crazy. I find that it boggles my mind that adult people now in their 70s and 80s are getting their feelings hurt. <laughs> with all the crap that they pulled in their 20s and their 30s, now they, they tend to get insulted, you know? You guys are professionals, so we do. So we think, but it's just insane of that. Um, yeah, there seems to be bickering, bickering, bick, 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 bick. Uh, Vinny Apice seems to be bickering at, I believe, Motley Crue. Motley Crue shot back. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I am totally upset also with stage presences. Stage presence, I know you guys are, you know, you're long in the tooth now. <laughs> you may, your appearance is not what it used to be. However, you still dress like you think that you're 20 years old. Um, the weight has an issue. Uh, I can go down the line here. Um, it is, for me, it is about the music, but when you hit certain notes and it's just not going to happen, bless your hearts. I, I, I give you, you know, an A for effort on that. Do I have to go and see you live and perform that? No, I don't. Because first of all, half of it, and here's the, here's the kicker, half of it's not even live anymore, which happens to be a big controversy now. Okay. So then, McMaws came out and said something about his own band and they shot back at him too. I mean, everybody seems to be going after everybody. Maybe if you came out and were okay with it and you got comfortable and say, listen, we'd like to bring out something. We'd like to let our fans know. Okay, this is what the deal is. You know, in a perfect world, that would be cool. But when you sit there and go, no, he didn't, no, he ain't, no, he ain't, no, he ain't, no, he ain't. And then it winds up on a YouTube video because... God help anybody that gets caught now for anything on social media because everybody is under a radar. <laughs> Everybody's done for because if you walk away from the mic and the vocals are still going, <laughs> even if you turn your back and the mic is behind you, gee whiz, is he really that good? Is it, does his voice really carry that much? Uh, hell no. Okay, the old saying years ago, is it live or is it Memorex? Remember the Memorex tape commercial? <laughs> yes, I'm showing my age now. Is it live or is it Memorex? Um, uh, today's world, it most likely is Memorex. <laughs> Memorex wins this one. And now bands seem to be going after each other. It, it is crazy to see a bunch of grown people who are professionals slamming each other. It is wild. It is just wild. I find that so yikes. Um, would I see half those bands today live? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. No. 
it used to bother me years ago, and I'm going to say this, and I have a bazillion DVDs. I mean, you know what? I have a bazillion. Right now, my husband and I, sometimes we purchase a concert, and sometimes when it comes out on DVD, and but it comes out on Blu-ray, we want the best possible quality, even if the, the damn video is like 30 years old. I mean, how, how, how good of a quality are you going to get it? I mean, unless they clean up the negatives and they restore the negatives and they restore. All right. Um, okay. This is our DVD. Okay. The thing is, is that it literally, and I can't move it, it rotates. So there is a four section. It just keeps going round and around. Okay. It's from the floor and it's taller than me. Okay. We love our music. We love our movies. And when there is nothing on TV, boy, there's always something on TV with us here. <laughs> whether it be that or whether we put on a concert. But we do own a lot of the concerts. Now, what I'm getting at next subject to me is that one of my peeves, and I understand, you know, in, in other cases why. Years ago, when you used to buy a VHS tape or watch a concert, you heard the concert as if you were actually in the arena, sound quality wise. This is what I'm talking about. You heard the crowd. You heard the mic. You heard how they have to scream over the crowd. You hear the crowd cheer. Sometimes I will watch, um, and I still do, I watch um, older concerts. And even on um, CDs, I'll listen to older concerts on headphones. Because years ago, and this may sound silly to you, years ago I used to pretend I was at that show. That was the adrenaline, adrenaline rush right there. To put the headphones, you hear the crowd, you hear the sound, you hear the acoustics in the theater. And there was no way of hiding that. What you got is what you got, okay? Uh, by the way, I also love bootlegs, just saying. I do love my bootlegs, and I have many of those. But this is who I am. So nowadays, and it has been happening maybe for the past 10 or 15, I want to say 10 or 15 years. I'm going to go back as far as 10 years. It's probably longer than that. Nowadays, when you get a concert, it says, oh, remastered, digitally remastered. And okay, vision-wise, it looks great. However, the sound-wise, it's like a lot of bands that I, I knew this for quite a few years because a lot of bands did say this, that they do go back into the studio to re-record their vocals Sometimes they re-record the music itself because sometimes when they did record it live, something was missing that it, it wasn't, it just didn't sound right. So they wanted to better the recording for the show. Um, you get it now on DVD. Okay, I could be watching something. And I hear that it sounds great. And I pointed this out to my husband one night. I said, you know what pisses me off? He goes, oh God, here we go. <laughs> That's usually what my husband says. Because I'm going to say something. I says, you know what really bothers me? I says, this isn't really live, live, live recording anymore. I said, this is this is an overdub. So he says, what do you mean? I says, well, listen, the singer is too crisp and clean. The music is more overpowering. And you hardly hear the audience at all. Except for cheering at the end of the songs and in between the songs. I says, what concert do you go to? Now, if you're standing, what concert do you go to if you're standing there in front and you're going to get that amazing sound? Because they take it back to the studio and they re, they re overdub it, they, they fix it up, they clean it up a little bit. That bothers me also, hate to tell you. I just like the pureness of, of seeing a show. I like the pureness of hearing a show. I want to hear the crowd. I want to hear the cheering. I want to hear the reverb and the and the acoustics in the theater. I want to hear your voice bounce off in the theater. I want to hear that. But of course, everybody's got to be a little bit more perfect nowadays. And this is what we got. We got perfection. Huh. I don't care for it. And that's it. Your heads can explode. Whatever the whatever the case. I can't agree with you. I don't. I just. I just don't care for it. I. I like the rawness i like the original way of doing it yeah and that's that's one thing for me you know so what do you guys think about that one i had to come out and say it i had to and you know 
as time goes on, I could probably mention other things. You know, like I said, I'm a Disney person. Everything. Uh, not all my life is Disney. So this right now, I'm on a, I'm on a roll with this, with the music wise, because it's been bothering me for the past few days. So maybe I'll have to put it on my computer and I want to sit and assess what I have on this, this iPod. I may just wipe this out and start over and redo Cause that's another thing. I'm a perfectionist with this also. I, I make playlists, but I also make playlists, not just under the title of the band. I make playlists, let's say rock, female singers, boy bands. Yes, I do like my boy bands and hair metal, you know, hair bands, you know, I, I, I categorize my categories like that. And then other bands, I will put bands together in that form. So that's just me. <laughs> that's just me. Um, there are some other bands out there that I really like. I really absolutely love. Um, do I have the, do I have it here? No, I put it away. Of course I did. I put it away from last night. I put my, I put my, um, autographs and everything away. But um, there is a band that I do want to mention, which is Edge of Paradise. Uh, beautiful female singer, Marguerite. She's great. I've been listening to them for a long time, for a long time. I'm sorry I can't play any of the music because YouTube will copyright me and, you know, so I don't want to get slapped with that. But Edge of Paradise is, is really a great band. Um, Edge of Reason. They're also, and I guess I'm on an edge move. I, I guess I'm edgy today. Yeah, Edge of Reason. They're also great. They're, they're a bunch of dudes. I've been listening to them for years as, as well. So I t talk to the singer. I keep in touch with, with most of these bands. I do. And, and you know, one thing with social media, that happens to be one of the good things about social media. When you get a band that is willing to interact with the fans itself. Because I've noticed a lot of up, you know, older bands that you write things and they don't even answer. They don't even, they won't even give you like a check like. These bands here, they will do that. They want to interact with their fans. They want, uh, I guess, the best possible experience. They want to give you the best possible experience. And that I love. So those are like pretty new bands to me. Um, there are other ones. There are, there, there are quite a few other bands. And I do, I give, I give newer bands a chance. Absolutely. So, and that's what I do. So, but my older bands, um, yeah, some of y'all are sad. <laughs> some, some of y'all are sad. I, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Do I love you? Yeah, I do. But I want to, I want to keep the memories the way I knew you. <laughs> it's like, it's like you guys with me are frozen in time seems to be, you know? So, like, I went to um, Motley Crue Girls, Girls, Girls tour. I went to Motley Crue um, Dr. Feelgood tour. I was all about that. Um, yeah. So, I just I just want to keep you. Oh, I'm going to freeze his in time on that. <laughs> I have to. And then um, they also had a farewell thing. But meanwhile, they're still performing. So, you know, if you're going to leave, just open the door and walk. Just just go and it ended on a high note. Ah, just, just end it on a high note. Just, just go, you know? Um, but, but it's, it, it's, it's, it should be a one way door. It shouldn't be a revolving door. These people, they go through doors. It's, it's a revolving door. They go out, they come back in. I don't know. I, I, so maybe somebody left the lock off. I have no idea. Once they leave, shut the door, lock it. Yeah. Goodbye. But, um, yeah, they just, they just keep, you know, resurfacing. <laughs> Then they do. Then, then, then. Now the, the the whole band thing is um, cruise ships. God help me. I don't take to boats, so I'm not going. To, I'm not going on a cruise. I didn't even do a Disney cruise. My husband does not take to boats, and I can't do that either. So we're we're gonna we're gonna keep the, you know, we're just gonna leave that there as well. I I don't take to cruise ships. I mean, if I can't see us on stage, I'm not gonna go on a cruise ship. You know, just everybody's into cruises now. All the especially all the older bands. Wow. Okay. It's come to this. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave you there. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'm going to finish my tea. I'm going to get up and do some domestic things around here. And then I'm going to pull out my computer, which probably needs an update. You know what? Since we have things like Spotify and social media, we can listen to our music. 
I have not been on my computer, so I'm sure it needs quite a few updates. And then this is going to need an update, and that's going to need an update, and I need an update. I don't know, but I will get through it. Okay, people. Happy Monday. God bless you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. What are your views on that with the bands? What, do you, what are your views on, you know, overdubbing at concerts? Um, backing tracks. You know, I guess, I guess it had to happen. I mean, they, they also said that things were happening back in the 80s. Maybe so, you know, the drug intake, you know, sometimes maybe you could have been off a little bit uh, chemically imbalanced when you were on stage. So maybe it, that they needed a little help. I don't know. But I know back in the 80s, we sure as hell didn't notice it. But you notice it now. God bless social media. God bless cell phones. <laughs> God bless everybody catching everything. I got it. I got it. <laughs> All right. Love to all. Happy Monday. Take care. Bye-bye.